the Scrambler Ducati is a uniquely American bike, of Italian branding. It was that when first conceived in 1962, and it's that yet again, though the one you get might be manufactured in Italy, Thailand, or Brazil. Don't let that worry you. The same standards of build apply worldwide. Anyway, Scramblers were originally created in response to a request from USA's Berliner Motor Corporation, Ducati's USA importers at the time. Berliner asked Ducati for a small, lightweight, dual-purpose machine to appeal to a broader audience. Somehow, they guessed it right, Ducati designed it right, and it was a great success and happiness for enthusiasts. Scrambler Ducati? Yes. Ducati says this isn't just a new bike, it's a new brand. So apparently it's Scrambler first, Ducati second. Also, Ducati says it's not a retro motorcycle, but an interpretation of what a Scrambler would be today, had its production never been interrupted. Yet, their marketing includes a suspicious dose of terms like heritage, classic, post-heritage, cross-generational, legend, throwback, and tradition. Maybe what they mean is that the Scrambler is sort of like a brand new used bike from a time that never occurred. Or, maybe the best interpretation of this corporate speak is to just ignore it, and consider the Scrambler just for what it is in your hands. To its credit, it does rise quite high above all of this peculiar posturing. So, yeah, let's leave this all behind and get back to the bike. Scramblers were produced, in various engine configurations from 1962 until 1975, yet were always powered by singles, though some were springers with conventional valve operation. To broaden the appeal of today's version of the Scrambler, it's powered by an air-slash-oil-cooled, Desmond Romic 2 valve 803 CCL twin-fed by IFI through a 50mm throttle body. At last count, Ducati doesn't have a single, and what in the 1960s was considered large displacement is today considered medium weight, at best. So a twin the Scrambler has. Drive is by way of a six-speed transmission. Though the engine is derived from the Monster 796cc engine, the cams are modified for a broader power band, with 75 claimed peak horsepower at 8,250 rpm and 50 pound and 20 pence feet of torque at 5,750 rpm. Please don't discount the Scrambler as just a rebooted monster. Other than being small, naked, and sharing an engine platform, it's a completely different machine in concept and execution. The fork's angle of rake is 24 degrees, which is pretty normal, but it has 4.4 inches of trail, which is about 10% toward the long side for a sporty bike. This is accomplished by minimal offset of the fork legs from the steering head, resulting in light, yet ultra-stable steering. During our first ride, the Scrambler never once shook its bars no matter how hard or fast it was leaned and lifted from corner to corner. It's always refreshing to ride a bike that just plain doesn't need a steering damper, which is usually just an adhesive bandage for sketchy geometry. Score 1 for Trust Kayaba suspension is used front and back, featuring 41mm non-adjustable inverted fork legs and a mono shock with adjustable preload. It's soft at both ends. This softness works well for the little bike, letting it move around without causing less experienced riders to drive undue forces into the contact patches, adding to its predictable stability on pavement and dirt. Since it's a light bike, soft works.